welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel please subscribe it will help me out a lot in today's video I quickly wanted to show you guys how I do this really easy really fast makeup I wear this on my more chill days when I don't want to feel full glam but I do want to have a little bit of coverage and feel alive usually when I'm in a hurry I can do this in 10 minutes um, today it took me a little bit longer because I was talking and explaining but if I'm in a hurry this will take me no longer than 10 minutes so if you'd like to see how I do this quick and easy fresh look please keep watching okay so first I'm gonna start covering up some of my scars with my Milani conceal and perfect longwear concealer in the shade 160 I do use some coverage with this look because if I didn't want any coverage, I just wouldn't wear makeup. I want this look to be fresh and easy and fast, but I do want some coverage. As you can see, this concealer is a little bit darker, but it does match like the rest of my body pretty well because I have been laying out in the sun. I did catch a little bit of a tan, but my face almost never tans. Also, if my ear looks red, it's because I just cleaned it. My best friend is gonna kill me. She's the one who pierces my ears. I just can't ever keep my ears not somewhat irritated. They're always irritated. They're never completely healed. It's 100% my fault. I sleep on them. I don't clean them enough. I really need to do that because I really need to do that. By the way, before this, I know I kind of jumped right into it, but before this, I already primed my skin just with my regular moisturizer. I still use the CeraVe moisturizer combined with the squalene oil. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veal from NYX. It's just a fancy way of saying tinted moisturizer. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. I like how this kind of evens out your skin and it gives you a nice fresh looking glow. It looks really healthy on the skin. I'm just putting this all over pretty lightly and I'm tapping over the places where I've already concealed. Okay so once I've put a light layer of that on and I'm liking what I see I'm gonna conceal. Do I want to use my Fenty Beauty? I'm gonna conceal a little bit around the eyes with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 330 and around the nose, some spots I might have missed and on my nose as well. That is not a straight line, wow. Usually when I'm in a hurry, it looks exactly like this. I just slap it all on and it's fine by me. Where is my beauty blender? I got it. I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna use my airspun powder. I prefer this for a natural look over the Makeup Revolution one because the Makeup Revolution one can give you that hi, I've powdered my face down look. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but I just prefer I just prefer this one because it melts right into the skin. For full glam looks, I might use the Makeup Revolution one because it does look better in pictures and stuff. But this one will actually look good on your skin in real life, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna swoop it everywhere around my face. I don't go in as precise as I would if I had done like a full glam. I just take my brush and powder where I need to powder. Next I'm gonna bronze using MAC Give Me Sun. This just gives such a natural finish. It doesn't look too much, it just looks really, just really natural. Usually at this point where I am right now, I'll be like five minutes in doing my makeup. It's taking me a little bit longer right now because I'm explaining and talking, but when I'm in a hurry, I can do this like that. I don't clean it up. I don't, I don't do anything like that. I'm going to take a little bit of my Milani. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I need to buy a new one. This is the Milani Big Bronzer in Soleil. And I just take that almost like a blush over my nose. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip it into my MAC Give Me Sun. Just put this right here. Like that. And then we're gonna move on to brows. I feel like I'm not talking as much in this video, but that's because I just wanna show you that this can be so quick if you just 
sit down, put everything on, powder it down, spray it down, you're done. <laughs> okay, for brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I really don't do a lot with this. The only thing I do is just mimic some hair strokes. I'm fast with this because I already have powder brows, so I don't need to do a lot. I just flick them through like this. And they're done. I'm gonna use my soap brow to set them, if I can find it. Hello? I always spray it before I use it. I don't go in with the wet soap, I just let it dry a few seconds. In the meantime, I'm gonna spray my face. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This doesn't make your makeup last or anything, it just makes your makeup look so fresh and natural. You can also use your beauty blender to push that spray in. So while I'm letting my brows dry, I'm gonna use a little bit of the NYX High Glass Highlighter. And I'm only gonna use it right there. This also gives such a pretty skin-like glow. Okay, so my brows have dried. I just kind of sculpt them in place by using the back of my spoolie. So they look nice and bushy. Now you can pretty much leave it at this, put some mascara on, lip gloss, and you're done. But me personally, I like to put some fake freckles on. I just like that look. I know not everyone likes fake freckles, but I do. I'm gonna use this MAC Conceal Palette, Pro Conceal Palette Dark. Oh, I have a cheaper version of this. You do not need to use this. Um, yeah, this. This is the NYX Conceal and Correct in Deep. It pretty much is. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, that is a cheaper option. I'm gonna use basically these two and I'm using a really, really, really tiny liner brush. I don't even think you can see that. But I'm just gonna dip it into those two colors and make freckles all around my nose. use my beauty blender to blend them in and then all we have left is some mascara mascara usually doesn't matter to me because I have short lashes anyway I have yet to find a mascara that actually works for me and that actually makes a difference so I'm just gonna use this essence lash princess Okay, and then all we have left is lips. For lips, I'm gonna use this powder puff. <laughs> For lips, I'm gonna use this powder puff lippy from NYX. I know this looks really bright, but how I like to use this is I make sure I either have some Carmax or some lip oil or Vaseline, something on my lips. This is the Kiko um, lip oil. I just make sure I have that on, not too much. Then I like to take the lippy and just dab it on my lips and that's it okay let me see what time it is okay so now it took me more 25 minutes but normally this will take me no longer than 15 if I'm really in a hurry I can do this under 10 minutes slap it all on powder it down and I'm out the door now I'm a little bit more dry skin so usually the Mario Badescu spray is enough for me and that will make my makeup last long and if you do want a long lasting spray that will also give you that radiant you can use the radiant finish setting spray from nyx but yeah this is basically all i do this is my quick and easy i need to head out the door makeup i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you in my next video